Hey everybody, welcome back to Notes of the King Tech. I'm your host, Corey here. And I know it's been a while, but I'm in my new studio and it's not finished yet, but I've gotten to the point to where I can come to y'all and just talk to y'all about tech. So that's what I plan on doing on a regular basis now. So thank you for supporting the channel. Uh, but let's just hop right into it. Today, I think I have what I think may be the best streaming stick on the planet. I just think, I just think it's the best. Now there may be some other ones that have better features here and there, but I think this one for me and for a lot of users may be the best one you can buy. And it is the Google Chromecast with Google TV. Now I have the white one here. It comes in a very selection of colors, but I wanna go ahead and give you all a review of this. I've been using it for over six months or so, so it's gonna be more of a long-term review. So let's just hop right into it, okay? Let's go. All right, so first up, let's just talk about the reasons I think you should buy this. The number one reason being, it is only 50 bucks. Uh, you can get some cheap ones from Amazon. I think Amazon's coming around 40, and you got a Roku for about $40 too. But I think this feature set that you get with this one, it's worth the extra 10 bucks. And then plus on top of that, it does come in some varying colors, like I said. So if you, if you want a blue one, you get a blue one. You want a pink one, you get a pink one. I went with the all white, kept it clean, but there are a lot of options and you don't necessarily get those options with the other ones, okay? Now, of course, this one has 4K, it has Dolby Atmos, it has HDR10, HDR+, Plus, what are all those different HDR standards and all those different standards this one has. So for 50 bucks, you're getting all that in this small package. Uh, so I think that's pretty amazing. Now, I do believe that the number one reason to buy this is the Google new Google TV redesign. Now, Google has done a really good job with designing this, in my opinion. The setup is clean. Of course, with Google, you have your different screens where you have the For You screen where it's going to recommend stuff for you to watch. And of course, with Google, it's going to get smarter and smarter the more you use it. Uh, there's a lot of other different integrations if you use Google TV with YouTube. Uh, you got two buttons on the front of the mode and one of those is for YouTube, one of those for Netflix, which are, you know, probably the two most watched streaming services on the planet. So having those at your fingertips is always good to have for those who use these services on a regular basis, kind of like I do. Now, moving on to the unboxing, like I said before, you do have different various colors. You have the white, you have the sunrise, you have the sky blue. There's a lot of different options to choose from. Like I said, that you don't, you don't get with a lot of other streaming services, they come in pretty much, you know, a set color, you know, so you can match this with your setup at home. Whatever you need to do, you have different options when it comes to the color. Uh, everything matches, so you got the white remote, the white Google Chromecast, and then you also have a white power cord that comes in it. And then, if, like I said, if you get the blue or the pink, they all have the same matching color setup. So that's really nice, really a thought out process there by Google. Now, Let's just talk about uh, how this get things is set up. So once you unbox it, you'll get it plugged into the TV. There are some different menus you can jump through. Uh, the best way to set it up though is using the Google Home app. If you already use the Google Home products, like for course the Nest thermostat or things like that, this setup process will be a little bit easier because it'll basically pull all your information from the Google Home app and poured it right into the Google Chromecast for you. So it's a little bit of an easier setup. Now, if you've never done it, it's still not hard. You'll take that Google Home app, you will scan the barcode, QR code that's on the TV, and you'll be off and running. Now, it does take a little while to set up. I'll say it takes about 10 minutes or so, but that's because it's downloading things, you know, updating, uh, connecting to the Wi-Fi, and it may, it may not take 10 minutes, but it, it takes a little while to get set up. Uh, which is a little bit longer than some other streaming services uh, sticks, I should say. You can hop right into those sometime, but this one, because it, I feel like it's so much more integrated with your services, it does take a little while longer to set up. Now, once you get everything set up, like I said, I love the new Google TV interface. I think it's laid out really well. You got that for you section, you have a movie section, TV shows, and like I said, you do have those buttons on the remote that you can press to access YouTube or Netflix at any time. So having quick access to those is always great. Now, moving along more so into the interface, my favorite feature about the interface 
is the Google TV integration. So, or not Google TV, YouTube TV integration, sorry. I think that is the number one selling point. If you use YouTube TV on a regular basis, having that integration where it'll show you live, what's going on live on YouTube TV as soon as you open up, as soon as you turn on the Google Chromecast, that's amazing. There's a whole section where it just shows you live channels so you don't have to jump into the app to see what's going on. You can just go to that section on the Google TV and it'll show you everything that's live. It'll also show you, you know, the new shows is on Netflix, Hulu, HBO Max. It has all the integration. It lets you know what shows are showing on which streaming platform. And of course, you know, when you're doing a setup, you pick which streaming services you subscribe to. So it knows those things. So it's tries to tailor your recommendations based on what you do have. Now I will show you some things that you definitely don't have. Like I didn't have HBO Max when I first signed up for this when I first set this up, but it was still showing me recommendations for HBO Max. But of course, HBO Max is, in my opinion, one of the best streaming services, so you know I had to jump on board. So you get a lot of different integrations with a lot of different streaming services, and like I said, not to mention YouTube TV being the best integration. Now there has been talk by Google to integrate more different uh, live streaming, t TV streaming services, like maybe from Sling, you know, from Hulu, those different live TV services. So that may be coming in the future, but as of right now, YouTube TV is the only one that has integration within, within the basic home setup of the Google Chromecast, which, you know, for me, like I said, that's seamless, it works well, it's amazing to have. Now, of course, with it being a Google Chromecast and a Google service, uh, you do have a, access to the assistant. You can access the weather, you can access the turn on the lights if you use Google Home for your home setup. Me personally, I use Amazon, so that one's not as useful to me, but it is there if you do use it. And of course, Google Assistant is the smartest, best assistant, so when you do need to know a fact or something like that, or whatever the case may be, it does a pretty good job of giving you the information you need the first time. I do like that it does integrate also with other streaming services on the Google Chromecast platform. So my favorite thing to say to it is, you know, hey Google, play. Seinfeld and it'll play Seinfeld for me from Hulu. So uh, I love that integration, you know, seamless. You can do a lot of different things with Google, the Google Assistant. This also has games on it. So it's basically like an Android tablet at that point. So you have games. Um, I don't play too many games on it, but you do have the option to play Pac-Man, which you can see me playing here. Uh, not the huge, not the biggest, you know, gaming person when it comes to like non-console games, but it's, it's nice to have if you want to, you know, kill some time. There are also other apps from, you know, streaming services like Spotify, Tidal. So you have all those if you want to stream music. Um, you also have Apple TV on this. So you have, a, you have an abundance of other options besides just your regular streaming services. So that's always an amazing thing to have. In all, overall, I think this is, like I said, one of the best streaming stakes you can buy. Like I said, there are a lot of competitors out there in this market. But with the integration with YouTube TV and other Google services, having quick access to YouTube, I think this is the best for those who use Google services, who have YouTube TV, who are big fans of YouTube. And I think the interface is just really clean. There's not a lot of ads. Uh, you get to what you need to get to quickly. The recommendations have gotten smarter and smarter over the last six months. Uh, like I said, the setup process was a little longer than I would like, but other than that, I'm loving this experience. It's in my room. I use it every day. Uh, so I think if you're in the market for a streaming stick, I think this is one of the first ones you should take a look at. All right. So if you have any questions, just let me know. Uh, I'll be happy to answer for you in the comments. Leave a like on this video as well if you enjoyed it. And, uh, you know, subscribe to the channel. We're trying to we're trying to grow. So we're going to get more and more involved this year and drop new videos on a regular basis. So. We'll just catch you in the next one, all right? Peace out.